All right. We're doing the IGM one now. I'm a day late because after the cock media, well, I just didn't have the energy to go on anymore. So hopefully this one is going to be a lot better than the cock media one. Uh, this is the IGN one, if it wasn't obvious. It's going to be awesome across the board. Fuck off. Anything Todd Howard says is a lot of bullshit. A metric ton of fresh trailers and never before seen gameplay into one sleek package. It's IGN Expo, and you're about to attend. Don't worry, there's no ticket price, barring whatever you're already paying for your internet connection. This is our special corner of the summer, and our chance to show off all the unique games that make up the greater gaming cosmos. So buckle in, because here come more games than you can shake a joystick at. IGN Expo starts now. Alright, let's see what they've got. Hopefully, hopefully it's a lot better than uh, the prior one, because the last one was absolute dog shit. So I don't know what IGN are showing specifically, but then again, I guess nobody does when they first watch it. Granted, I'm watching this a day late, so I could have looked up, but whatever. Looks like Mordor, Shadow of Wardor, whatever it was called. Mortal Shell, the Virtuous Cycle. No idea what that was. Just a, it was like a, a fantasy RPG. Probably, probably in the style of Dark Souls, no doubt. That's usually, usually the case. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our very own IGN Expo. Now this right here is the chillest place to be during this hot, hot summer. That guy's got. Well, to be honest, they both got some crazy shirts on. I'm Akeem Lawanchin, joined by my festive buddy Brian Altano, and for the next hour, we're going to be bringing you exclusive first looks at upcoming video games that'll likely leave blisters on your thumb from the sheer thought of playing them, Brian. It's physically impossible to get blisters on your thumbs from thinking about something, but, you know, I believe in you, your heart's in the right place, by all means, continue. Brian, look, I gotta tell you, man, you, you don't tell me what's physically impossible, baby, tell me about the games. You know, we're smack dab in the middle of summer gaming, IGN's all summer long game abrasion, celebration. Now, yesterday, y'all saw Jeff Keighley's summer game fest kickoff. Yeah, and it was really good, and I forgot to record it like a fucking idiot. 2021 coverage, and this, right now... This thing that you're experiencing right now is our very own IGN, IGN Expo. It's the eye of the heat storm and, you know, well, we all want to know, baby. We all want to know. I didn't, I didn't get an echo machine. Did they mail you one of those? Anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about the games. Uh, but first, just a teaser. You just got to look at the brand new Mortal Shell, the Virtuous Cycle DLC. And coming up, we've got numerous oh, trailers. Oh, Mortal Shell's already out. So that was a DLC. DLC. Announcements, developer walkthroughs, and so much more. I'm actually not sure if we're allowed to spoil the surprise for you all, so well, let's just jump obviously into not. and show you some exclusive. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Creed. Games. Two boxing giants are about to step into the ring tonight. I'm gonna sneeze. The hay fever's a pain in the ass. Is this some sort of rocky boxing game?
Oh, looks like some sort of murder mystery thing. I'm going to guess it's some sort of Sherlock Holmes game. That's incredible, Sherlock. Yep. Always impressed me. I mean, he's, he's just kind of tainting the, the crime scene there by lying all over it, but... No worries about that. I guess DNA wasn't really a massive thing back then. was easy but this personal mission that brought you here you know it's nothing but pain I did buy one of the Sherlock games I haven't had a chance to play it yet but I've heard they they require quite a lot of brain power which is what interested me in the first place because uh, most most mystery games kind of just pretty much tell you the answer or they tell you that you found all the clues this quest might soil more than your shoes. Lovely. I'm getting some, um, what was that? Detroit become You're not ready something. I'm getting the, this investigation. like similar face vibes from the guy, the android detective. I don't know if that was intentional. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 2021 It's on everything Oh blimey I'm not so sure about this but There's like a zombie survival crafting game to be honest which you know apparently we don't have enough of those yet apparently we don't have enough of those yet but it looks like your base is constantly moving which weirdly enough is what we just saw in the summer games fest except it was a um a giant dinosaur type thing. I, I've been looking for a good horror game uh, that I've... Uh, well, I've been looking for a good horror game for a long time. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. Um, I never actually played this we were going to at one point, and then um, it's kind of hard to make a, a visual novel interesting. Um, I wonder. I guess this is probably going to be a, a game that you have to pay for with all the yeah, the new content, which is fair enough. The first, the original game's free. Uh, again, it's not really a game I, I particularly cared about, but whatever. Oh wow, yeah, it's, it's yeah, let's get another like a expansion, full release. Weirdly enough, what about easily disturbed children? I gotta tell y'all, what a block of awesome that was! <laughs> I'm so excited for Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, especially as a man living in the middle of a pandemic. You know, I wouldn't mind having Monica in my reality these days. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. <laughs> the guy on the right is just like so confused and so concerned. Is that? Comes eating company. But I am excited for that one. What about you, Brian? Yeah, sure, <laughs> definitely. Um, well, that Sherlock Holmes game looks pretty cool, and and also as a man and living in the post-pandemic, I'd sure love to have a platonic business relationship with Watson to solve crimes and such, and hold hands. But let's keep this train going, <laughs> tossing it to the developers over at Gearbox for a breakdown of the one. These guys are this new game instantly more likable than um, whoever that lady was in the cock media stream. Let's take a look at Wonderland. 
Oh, I do not care about this. <sighs> this was in the uh, the summer thing, and yeah, no, I do not, I do not hey, really care. My name is Matt Cox, and I'm the creative director of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I'm thrilled to be able to go. I'm just not a fan of, I'm just not a fan Tiny of Borderlands or Gearbox. Set in an unpredictable fantasy world that's full of whimsy and wonder and high-powered weapons. Packed with fresh gameplay ideas, irreverent humor, a crazy story-driven adventure, and repeatable endgame content that you can enjoy with friends in co-op up to four players. I mean, I've played the uh, the first two Borderlands games, and I didn't like either of them. So on your quest to defeat our main villain, the Dragon Lord, you're going to fight a variety of monsters from shambling skeletons to, like this, sharks with legs. So designing for this chaotic brand of fantasy lets us run wild with our imagination. So you can expect... Some slightly warped takes on high fantasy. But I'm sure the people the awesome that... Gabe Kunda voices the mysterious figure that you hear in this trailer. Now, he's not the protagonist. Players can actually create and customize their own multi-class heroes in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Players won't literally customize their weapons, but you will collect a wide variety of loot and a wide variety of rarities. So you have guns, spells melee weapons and of course you'll have your skills that you can use and then you'll be able to find loot like armor and amulets and more <laughs> yeah i mean a big part of our combat loop and what there's true, not really a lot for me to say about this one i say i don't really like care spells more as mini skills because of their power and their variety of behaviors our cast is incredible we have the headstrong captain valentine the rule obsessed robot fret and of course our tyrant villain dragon lord and tiny tina and they're all brought to life by these great actors and of course enter a magical diamond binacorn leaping in to save the day here uh, this speaks to the wild and irreverent humor in tiny tina's wonderlands now all of this takes place in a game that joke game was so old it was like old as soon as it was made fantasy tabletop adventure where anything can happen the very unpredictable Tiny Tina makes the rules, she changes the world on the fly, and guides players on their epic fantasy journey. Now, a lot of the tone and humor in this story springs from this chaos. This takes place in Dragon Keep, but if you don't know what that means, that's okay, because this is a brand new adventure in a brand new world in the mind of Tiny Tina playing Bunkers and Badasses. We absolutely love Tina and the crazy world that we're creating, and it's been an absolute joy working on this game. So we're very excited for everyone to share in this experience when it launches next year. I think it should go without saying that Wonderlands looks wonderful. There, I said it, and I don't care who hears me say something so brave yet so controversial. Anyway, we've got more gaming goodness coming up on the IGN Expo when Summer of Gaming 2021 returns, so don't go anywhere. Don't. That's a threat. It's not a threat. I mean, it's just, it, it's just mildly nicely asking you, don't go anywhere. But don't go anywhere. I have scissors. And I'll, I'll make a beautiful, beautiful card for you that says, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> this guy's an absolute nutter. IGN Summer of Gaming 2021 is presented by the Amazon original movie, The Tomorrow War. Never heard of it. Simply on Prime Video July 2nd. And powered by Duracell Optimal, the official battery sponsor of Summer of Gaming 2021. And presented by USAA Insurance and Army National Jesus. Guard. Jesus. Pursue multiple paths while you serve. Reach your greatest potential with Army National Guard. What a lot of bullshit. Only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide. Everybody loves watching a speedrun of their favorite game. But what if you got a chance to peek into the mind of the developers behind those games as they watch their hard work... Okay, so just them advertising the right thing now. That's exactly what happens on every episode of Devs React to Speedruns. 
we invite you to ride along with the developers as they watch, react, and enjoy some of the craziest gameplay by the most skilled speedrunners on the planet. Tune in every Saturday for a brand new episode. Don't really care about this, let's just skip past all this. Oh no, they're coming back right now, so it's fine. Welcome back to IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. I'm glad <coughs> you stuck around and I didn't have to use these scissors. Time to get rid of them. Right, g give me that, man. You don't need those. Wow, what that was me? pretty good. <laughs> anyway, let's check out uh, some I... more trailers. Any guess on what we might see now, Akeem? Well, you know what, Brian? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say exclusive gameplay trailers with a dash. Just a dash of DLC. I want to see some DLC. Wild this guess. Well, let's DLC what we got. Ooh. <laughs> it, hurt, yes. it hurt me. It hurt me to say it. Okay? It should. Physically hurt to say that joke. Physically. I need the scissors back. Slow clap. Never heard of it. Give him a track here, collapser. Okay, so we're going for like a, a watchdogs vibe. Watchdogs? Sleeping dogs, Jesus. Watchdogs was dog shit. Ironically enough. No, uh, sleeping dogs. Got like a karate. Beat the shit out of everybody. Use environmental kills and damage. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, I, I hope there's more to this game than just the fighting. Sifu. Oh. Epic Game Store. I guess I won't care about that game then. Road of Lego. Don't know where they're going with this. I guess they used Lego to help module the game. Or oh, it's a Lego game. I. Wow, that is fascinating. The patience it must take to do all of this shit. I don't think I'd have the patience for it, to be honest. Granted, I'm not being paid the big bucks, so. Scree sloops. Well, I, it looks all very impressive and stuff, but. I mean, I don't, I don't know really what. Amphibian, and how can I be as successful as him? As a banana. Well, I'll tell you, kiddo. You gotta come to Redlandia, the place of opportunity, where even the ice cream's dreams of hitting the big time. You see, these guys, they've got that go-getting attitude, making it happen in the streets. And oh, the streets, kid! Forget paved with gold. Here, there's nothing but miles of the smoothest concrete, ramps and grinds everywhere. Makes you wanna grab your board and hold on, you can skate, right? Whatever, you pick it up or not. Look, 
This has got a really bizarre art style. It's time to shine, my humanoid friend. Let's roll. Well, it's uh, definitely a strange art style. Didn't know if it's for me, but. I mean, that was something, I guess. Brothers and sisters, you're hearing my voice because we have reached a crossroads in this war. Oh, is this, um, Dying Light 2? No Possibly. I, uh, but if it... Simply surviving is a slow death. Although, maybe not, because it seems like there's way too many... That we will not win by holding our ground. Our ranks have grown. Our skills have I don't know, it really does look like Dying Light 2, so... If it's not... Then they've got a very similar. Granted, there's not usually that many zombies, so. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, but there's also a lot of zombies, and they don't usually run that fast. So it could be something else. Red Wolf Z. Interesting. Welcome back to IGN Expo. Ah, yes. Now you all just got a sneak peek of Sifu and World War Z aftermath, among others. Now I can ramble Sifu. all day about how great those reveals were, but you know why ramble when we got Bramble? Now this upcoming game from Dim Frost Studio promises to take you deep within the dark and mysterious world of folklore. Let's take a look at. And buffer. Let's take a look at Bramble the Mountain King. Oh, Jesus. Some little girl. Jesus. Oh, it's Samara. Okay. this now bramble I gotta say Brian bramble that was something I'm all in on it was definitely one. something definitely from now on call me a brambling man 
Yeah. I mean, Brant. Okay. I mean, yeah, the game looks really awesome. I just feel like you're really excited about the the repeated stabbing thing. That seems like you, you're honing in on what? that specifically. You seem very into that, which is awesome. I mean, it's got everything that you want in a in a solid video game. I thought it was really awesome. I'm really excited for it, Brian. Uh, just tell what, what do we have next? Because I'm, I'm super excited, man. If Bramble was this damn good, we got to have something else coming up next that's just as equally, if not better. Well, you know, wh uh, whatever is up next, next, I think maybe we should pivot and have something with like considerably less mm. chest stabbing. Maybe even something like a little oh. bit more chill, you know, something mm. kind of relaxing. Mm. So you, you mean like, how about this? Uh, how about like skating with birds? Like skate birds? Skateboarding oh. birds. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's very, very specific, but that would be super chill. Yeah, let's do it. Skating birds. Great. Well, then you know what, Brian? I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to love this next game. Here comes Skateboarding Birds in Skate Bird. Let's check it out. Skate, skate Bird. Skate Bird. Skate Bird. Skate Birds. Looks like it was made by the guys that made that other game. What was it? Uh, Among Guys? That would been. Or maybe it's just on the same engine, but if it This is weird. Skate bird. Wow, what a day. Well, that's all the time we have here on IGN Expo. Wait, I want to thank my hairstylist. I want to thank my... Brian, hold on. Wait, are you insane, man? We're only halfway through. What are you doing? Oh, well, wow. Well, this event is stacked with even more exclusive reveals and yeah. brand new trailers than I could have reasonably anticipated. Clearly, and very well said, my friend. And we'll be right back with even more right after this break. So stick around and keep being part of our super game. That's right. And I want to thank my agent. I want to thank my friends. I want to thank my uncle who taught me that wrestling isn't real. That made me mad when I was a kid, but I'm okay with it now. It only took about 60 years to get cool with that. But <laughs> IGN Summer of Gaming is powered by Duracell Optimum. All summer long, we're bringing you the game announcements, developer interviews, and all the demos you care about. So get comfortable and get ready to play. New show, The Fix Entertainment. Whether it's the latest superhero scoop, film fiasco, or anime announcement, I'll be here covering all the breaking movie, TV, and streaming news that matters most to you. Make sure to catch The Fix Entertainment on IGN for your fix of entertainment news. Let's drop it. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? We're constantly updating our feeds to bring you the latest news, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, memes, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Snapchat. What's up, everyone? Sydney here to bring you a little update about the future of IGN on YouTube. We've been listening to your feedback, and it seems like some of you are more into games, while others are more interested in movies and TV. So we got to thinking about it and decided, why not both? Our main channel will still bring you all the biggest news, reviews, previews, and trailers to keep you up to speed on the most important highlights. But if you only want games content 24-7, head over to IGN Games. Movies and TV more your thing? Check out IGN Movies and TV. More channels, more of the stuff you love, more IGN. 
I want to thank DuckTales. I want to thank uh, Anthony Franco's Pizzeria in Paramus, New Jersey. Really good, really good. Really, All garlic right. knots, really, is what yes, a lot Yes, that's of. right. That's right, Brian. Well, you know what? Welcome back. This is still the summer of gaming, and you found yourselves knee-deep in IGN Expo. Yes, we are jam-packed with some of the most unique games you'll see first right here on IGN. Speaking of which, you know what I miss most during quarantine? Helping and moving friends. I, You know, I just really love unpacking Shit. heavy crap and lifting it up in the air, and if you're a weirdo like me, then you probably get the sheer joy of games like Power Wash Simulator and Teardown. Well, keep an eye out in our next set of trailers for unpacking. Probably the best unpacking simulator made to date. Sure, yeah. You, you know, there's also like a bunch of other trailers in there too, Brian. I think they're going to be most excited about the unpacking one, though. <laughs> okay, you know, well, fine. Well, let's unpack all the trailers, not just the unpacking one, right now. Looks like um, looks very Habo Hotel. Yeah, she's got the same same style, which was an old old ass game that most people probably don't remember. But it's got that it's got that same graphical style. I don't know how you uh, how you could possibly lose. Well, I was playing this game, but it's uh, it's certainly a unpacking. It's certainly a strange looking game. Hi, and welcome to a very quick sneak peek look at Two Point Campus. If you're not familiar with Two Point Games. Think fun simulation management with a very particular. So this was this was also in on campus, the other one. Design and run your very own this time a games fest. But rather than boring courses, we're giving you the opportunity to teach your students very unusual classes, like night school. Oh, that's just awful. We'll be teaching your students heraldry, chivalry, jousting, and how to walk around in that really heavy armor. Here we're building the training area for our prospective knights. We watched a ton of live streams of Two Point Hospital, saw what people were vibing with, and we've added a ton of new creative tools to campus that will let you build outside, create new buildings, landscape, and place trees and pathways. Here you can see some of our night school students warming up with some practice done with. If they can nail their classes, they'll get themselves straight A's. But if they don't have everything they need, great teachers, great equipment, and of course a great social life, they may fail. It's just a super quick peek, but that's just a taste of what's to come in Two Point Campus, which is out in 2022. If you sign up on our website at twopointcampus.com, you can get yourself a free in-game item when the game launches. Lovely. I don't really care about Street Fighter to be honest. I played it back on the arcade machines when I was a kid, um, and I was terrible at it. To be, to be perfectly honest, Street Fighter is uh, is certainly a game I'm not I'm not the greatest player of. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat fighting game fan because of its simplicity. I also played. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or uh, Action Turtles as they're called here because apparently Ninja Turtles is too aggressive and violent so they were called Action Turtles over here Wow Salve friend Mind telling me who you are? Uh, I don't think so. I've 
Never seen you before in my life. Somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. There's some really nice gold effects. Are you with me? I want to assume that's Unreal 4. If you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. The Forgotten City. Interesting. Forgotten City. I like to make a, a note of all, all the games I'm, I found rises, relatively interesting. Torn between two worlds, yet part of none. It's your fate to free Nevendar. Disciples Liberation brings tactical turn-based battles into a dark fantasy strategy RPG. Find your place in a world of endless raging war between the four factions. Wow, a giant cat man. Use your legacy to battle your foes, find loyal companions and form a powerful army. Seize your destiny and liberate the land of Nevendar. <laughs> Disciples Liberation. Coming soon to your PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. You just saw the trailers for Unpacking, Disciples Liberation, Unpacking, and before that was the Forgotten City, and also Unpacking. Yeah, there's a lot of unpacking there. Uh, now, Brian, you, you might remember our next game made waves when it was first announced three years ago, but we haven't heard a ton from the team lately. And now, with that said, the little fox who stars in this Zelda-ish indie title still looks just as cute. Akeem, I am so excited about this one. Let's check in with Tunic. Tunic has been a darling of the gaming scene for This one was also oh. Also on the Summer Games Fest. It was a little your little a fox yet. guy. The same demo has been making the rounds for um. many moons, but one man developer Andrew Shuldice's absolutely adorable fox and his Zelda-like adventure is finally almost ready and we got an exclusive hands-on with the all-new E3 2021 demo that's coming to your Xbox on June 15th. Here are five reasons why this charming fox needs to be on your radar. Tunic's old demo didn't really make it clear how challenging the combat can get. In the new demo, which includes a slice of the overworld as well as one dungeon, you'll encounter a number of different enemies after you find, in order, a, a stick, stick, a sword, and a shield. And a shield. From simple blobs to laser turrets to a giant bone monster that... Try as I that sounds like me. Every power up I could find in the demo, like ice bombs and sticks of dynamite, I could not bring down. There goes all these gems. I presume I'll be more powerful later on in the full game to come back and conquer it, but the demo makes it clear that there are going to be places that you probably shouldn't go yet, no matter how tempted you are to get through the doors the toughest creatures are guarding. Speaking of which, 
Who the heck is this fox? What is going on in this world? What does the in-game language mean and will I ever be able to translate Something about a sword. And why are there help screens in the world modeled after old school video game instruction manuals and strategy guides? I love the added sense of mystery and intrigue that Tunic brings that it absolutely doesn't need to. The gameplay would be just as fun and the presentation just as compelling without them, but they're there and they make me want to play more to uncover the answers to those questions. Like any good Zelda style game, there are secrets hiding all over the place if you look carefully enough. Shuldice very politely requested that I not spoil any of them for you before you have a chance to play the demo for yourself, so I'll just say this. Put yourself in a Zelda mindset, and you'll probably have some good ideas of where to look. Shuldice told me that there are six secret items hidden in the demo, which means there are certainly plenty more to discover in the full game as well. On this note, the new demo makes it pretty clear that you will not be completing Tunic in just one sitting. The one dungeon here has well, plenty of layers I bet somebody it, will. Somebody will take that as a challenge. Shrines, doing so resets all the monsters, so there will be a constant tug of war between taking risks to progress and playing it safe. I do appreciate how there are environmental shortcuts that open up as you go, meaning that if you die, and believe me, you will So die, it's basically a, a 2.5D Dark Souls, really. ...or fight through everything all over again in order to get where you're going. But this world is clearly a big one, just like any Zelda-style game worth its salt. Finally, allow me to state the obvious. Tunic looks and sounds beautiful. It does look pretty good, visually. Visuals lend Tunic a very playful visual tone, while the serene music adds a very pleasant, calming vibe to the gameplay. The combination of the two is fantastic. Weird little pig thing. Tunic blends retro and modern in both the audio and visual departments in a way that gives it a wholly unique look and feel. I absolutely love it. And with that, I wholeheartedly recommend you play the Xbox demo yourself on June 15th. Yeah, let me just get an Xbox do, then. I have little doubt that Tunic will not only ping on your upcoming game radar, but rocket up towards the top of your wish list in the process. While Shuldai still hasn't given a concrete release date for Tunic, there's more reason than ever to believe that 2021 is finally the year. For more on Tunic, don't miss more gameplay from the old demo, and for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. IGN Expo is just reaching its peak, so don't go anywhere right now. We Weird, how much time's left on this? Six fresh trailers loaded up like 20 minutes. Last cartridges in a, in a laser pistol aimed at the heart of your boredom. Because I know y'all get bored. Wow, he did, did shoot a laser pistol at the heart of boredom. That's an apt metaphor, mm -hmm. Akeem. It's also really dark and slightly messed up. Anyway, our hey. first trailer involves a show I know everyone loves, Saint Ranger Things. Following the adventures of Saint Ranger, the only Texas Ranger to ever be sainted. Well, uh, <laughs> Brian, uh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to poke a couple of holes in your cloud here, my boy. Uh, it, it, it actually, th that's a typo. It's, it says Stranger Things. Oh no, that's not a typo. I just can't read. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's see what the Stranger Things or St. Ranger Things team are doing in the world of Smite. Or Smitty. Oh, Smitty. Uh, this was also shown in the, the Summer Games Fest. I didn't really have too much to say about this either at the time because I don't watch Stranger Things and I don't play Smite.
dear God. Okay, well this is certainly weird. Well, that is bizarre. God, it's moving a bit too fast for me to see what's even going on. Looks like some sort of card battler again. I say again, I've only seen a couple of them, to be honest, two or three, but it's very stylized. Love, love neon. A lot of neon but that trailer was moving way too fast for my eyes to comprehend what was even happening Woo, now that was the new game of battle of the bands now, i can't wait for that one that's actually being produced in part by the living tombstone and we've got an exclusive music video from those guys you can check out over on ign's youtube channel you know, if IGN Expo were a battle of the bands, this would be the brief window between when each band plays and you can go buy an overpriced drink and use the bathroom and make a pee-pee. You, you know what? Fortunately, you can still watch ads in the bathroom from your, your, your phone or your laptop. So take it to the toilet, y'all. Summer of gaming continues after this quick break. Don't take your laptop to the toilet, y'all. Don't listen to Akeem. Don't do that. That's weird. Come, Come on. on. What, 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 like, how important is your job? You're gonna bring your laptop to the toilet? Come on, what do you It's work? eBay. I'm trying to win something on eBay. It's an auction. Come on now. I'm trying to get a new NFT. What are you trying to win the auction for, grossest dude? Because you already won. Aha. Damn. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> <laughs> IGN Summer of Gaming 2021 is presented by USAA Insurance and Army National Guard. 
Pursue multiple paths while you serve. Reach your greatest potential with bunch of nonsense. And by the Amazon original movie, The Tomorrow War, exclusively on Prime Video July 2nd. And powered by Duracell Optimus, the official battery sponsor of Summer of Gaming 2021. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? We're constantly updating our feeds to bring you the latest news, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, memes, and a whole Sweet lot more. Jesus. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Snapchat. with non-stop news about Marvel DC Star Wars the show with <sighs> hard hitting commentary and me Akeem Lawanson host of IGN's new show behind the esports headlines from the triumph out of disbelief yo what's going on everybody welcome back to IGN Expo part of IGN Summer of Gaming a whole summer of gaming, and we're dishing up hot trailers and plenty of them. Barbecue, summertime, sand, the beach, kissing under the boardwalk, all the summer stuff you love and crave that I just made up. But coming up next, we've got trailers for a Metroidvania puzzle game, a classic murder mystery, and a game where you finally get to fight Louis the Sixteenth's robot army. I hate them. That's insane, man. You know, and we got many more on top of all of that. Well, I like the, the murder mystery thing, that sounds good. Don't care about the Metroidvania roguelike thing. That weird woman we saw when we played in the woods. She has a crooked nose with a yucky wart. It's just the long grey hair that makes her look old, but she's pretty young actually. She owns a black kitty. She built herself a shelter out of wood and pieces of old cloth. I think it was standing on a chicken leg. It's made of gingerbread, chocolate candy, and a lot of icing. Or bones. She cooks in a big black cauldron over the fire. Probably bats. And rats. Spiders. Mushrooms. She can always smell a child when it's close. Blimey. Rats. You want to know if all of that was real? Well... Even if it wasn't before. It is now. It certainly is now. Ah, close enough. No, it's exactly the same line, but... Am I seeing things? Or did she have a hunting dog? Okay then. This is a little bit... Black tail. Okay, well that was peculiar. It didn't really tell us anything about the game, but you got a bow and arrow and you kill things. X-Men. We train. We fight. To oh, I saw this power. the other day as well. But what are yours when you have nothing to lose? And so the sheep becomes the shepherd, culling them to this fool's paradise. Is it uh, that sort in sanctuary? The immortals of Kaleshora will stop at 
It's, it's definitely got that uh, Dark Souls vibe. Wow, look at that guy. He's massive. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. You continue to feed into this cycle of death. You might doesn't deserve to fade just yet. You remember our deal, don't you? Death Scandal. But that looks pretty cool. Jesus. King left us no chance. They were too many, too strong, and made of steel. The fighting was too one-sided. We were slaughtered. The machines wouldn't even let me flee. Paris burns and is lost, short of a miracle. That was a very short trailer. Now you just saw trailers for Black Tail, Black Skylands, Still Rising, and Unbound Worlds Apart. You can actually play that last one, the demo, right now on your Nintendo Switch. 
And it's all a part of IGN Expo here on IGN Summer of Gaming. Brand new game trailers and reveals exclusively at IGN. Yes, and in case four new game reveals wasn't enough for you, we have plenty more to come. And in the really? past, actually. That's right, y'all. Y'all need to understand. We're living in the middle of a vast time stream of trailers right now. Can you see them, Brian? Can you see the trailers? They're all around us right now, bro. I actually, I can it came in, that's because I hit my head earlier this morning. So yes, oh. we've got four more game trailers to unveil, and we're going to do that without further ado, while I make sure my friend Akeem here is okay. Oh. Yes, I see them, Brian. The trailers. <laughs> He's an absolute nutter. Yeah, you, you definitely hit your head, too. Wow. Time is like gravity. We are constantly falling forward without noticing it. But then it all stopped for me. Okay, this looks interesting. Dear journal. And she's got a nice ass. Oh, I can get behind that. And I am still unsure why I am talking to you when I am clearly the only one listening. That's true. I'm not listening a word. I'm just staring at your ass. I guess to keep some sanity. Well, you are still stuck. If you are starting to lose it, please don't. Oh, okay. That's the only way we can get back. If you're starting to have anxiety attacks, just don't. That is a fat ass. Well, this is a very broken pieces. Well, that's a very, this is the best thing I've seen thus far. Broken pieces. I don't like that. Yes, Julia? Martha's not here. But can I hear a story of the white lady again? But you always find that story scary. Yes, Nanny. But I'm with you. So I know nothing can hurt me. Oh, all right. There was once a couple madly in love who would often stroll by a lake. But one day, in a fit of jealousy, the man drowned the young woman. Blimey. Too much love brought death. How can love also be so bad? This is something you will learn with age, Robert. Unfortunately, yeah. The man confessed. So he was hanged in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed his beloved. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, the spirit of the girl, known as the White Lady, wanders restlessly in search of relief from her eternal suffering. Only the life of another young woman can give the lady a moment of peace. Is that always terrible to hear? I'll never get used to it. <sighs> you never get used to that kind of pain, my sparrow. But those in grave pain can attempt to evoke the lady through a dark ritual and magic of the tarot. As the lady knows their suffering all too well, she could show them pity. Or she may not. Don't really know too much about that one, to be honest. Maybe it's a possible watch. Watch out for. What's this? Eve Online. What's the other one? Oh, 
Ah, oh, trust me, I do that every single day. Haunted space. And is that it? Oh, no, one more. The anniversary of 1986 was a great gift for humanity. One of the greatest. What are you talking about? I could tell you things that would turn your whole life upside down. But I don't want that. Save her. Igor. Chernobylite opened a door to something that will change the history of mankind forever. Forever. We can be together, Igor, but you have to learn the truth. If you truly want to find me. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. Hmm. Or is this another stoke again? The last stretch. You've been through so much for me. It, it looks like it. It very much looks like it. Your wits, your strength, your plan, your companion's loyalty, everything. Good luck, my love. Chern Chernobylite. Interesting. You know what? What a fantastic show full of great new games to look forward to. I'm hyped for each and every one of them. Now, we just saw new gameplay footage from Broken Pieces, Martha is Dead, Haunted Space, and Chernobylite. I'm personally looking forward to Sifu, since Absolver was a really unique game. Yeah, I totally agree. And I'm personally looking forward to Bramble, because I have some deep-seated issues with my dad that I need to work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, well, we really went for, uh, I think we went for, like, all killer, no filler this year with these trailers, which means you barely had to hear from us two. So yeah. you're welcome for that. And don't mm -hmm. forget, y'all, E3 coverage That's starts tomorrow. <laughs> That's right, and if you're just oh. joining us, sorry, you missed the entire show. Your clock is broken or something. Sort <laughs> it out. But yes, Summer of Gaming continues tomorrow with the Ubisoft Forward Conference, so be sure to join us all as we break down the biggest reveals all E3 long. Not to mention conferences from Square Enix, Xbox and Bethesda, and Nintendo Direct, all happening next week. So hit up IGN.com for a full schedule. The summer of gaming continues as long as there's gaming in your heart and 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 and, and Mario in your sunshine. <laughs> that is terrible. That, that was really weird, but that was also sweet. Uh, it's I, I, really I bad. That, Akeem. Thank yeah. you all so much for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. You're awesome, and goodbye. Take care, y'all. IGN summer of what a nice bunch! A nice bunch of guys. Army National Guard. Fuck those guys, huh? While you serve, reach your greatest potential with Army National Guard and by the Amazon original <laughs> movie, The Tomorrow War, exclusively on Prime Video July 2nd and powered by Duracell Optimum, the official battery sponsor of Summer of Gaming 2021 and presented by USAA Insurance. Not only is